What is up, YouTube? My name's Tony 2.0, and today we're going to talk some more Special Forces Team X. Been loving this game, and today I want to talk to you guys about the map system. So, as you can see on the screen right now, they have this dynamic tile system. Basically what it is, is there is nine tiles that interchange individually, kind of like puzzle pieces. It works kind of crazy. So, you can go through and actually select which tiles you prefer and in what location. Sometimes they can be doubled up on either end of the maps, kind of like you can see here. But it makes for not just, oh, we're going to play this one map over and over and I know where I'm going to go camp. What happens is you end up knowing what's going to happen on the map. You know the locations. You know the tiles. But that's about it. You are familiar with where those tiles can take you and the routes in those tiles, but they fit together like a puzzle piece. So each tile can connect a different way to each other piece. What this does is it kind of makes for the most intuitive and innovative thing I have ever seen as far as map making customization goes this is the next best thing to actually creating your own maps and they play flawlessly there's really no break in them it's just you know this wall that was once blocked by another wall is now an actual doorway in a different map or in a different game so the amount of actual things that you can make is something like over a hundred and what i'm guessing that they're going to do is with dlc they'll be adding different tiles that will slate in and and kind of fill the fill the void um, once these ones have kind of run their course. Now with a hundred different combinations, that's going to take a long time. This map design actually puts a lot towards how well this game is set up for replayability. Kind of keeps you guessing, keeping you wanting more. Different maps and different tiles work better for different game types. It is such a cool concept. And in the gameplays that I'm putting you up, you'll see, like, well, I know that spot. I've seen that before, but it was never connected to that. And it, it can get a little confusing, but once you kind of get the flow of how the game goes, the map design just adds to how fun this game is. It's just another something that they've added that you have control over that adds to the ex overall experience of the game. Again, if you guys are still... You know, like, oh, I don't know if I want to buy that. It's going to be worth it. It is well worth it. Everyone that has jumped on and played it, except for one guy who doesn't like the third-person shooter stuff, has loved it. They they get in it, and they all decide that, oh, my God, this, is, this was a great decision. Okay. It is a great game. This map stuff is so innovative right now. Go and check it out, even if it's just for that so you can see it. Like I said before, if you have an Xbox, you can download the demo. Uh, you get the first 45 minutes for free you can go and try the game out I promise you after that 45 minutes you're gonna wanna buy it anyways it is a nice casual shooter and honestly it, it it's the most fun I've had playing a shooter what can I say I wanna thank you guys for checking out this video if you like this go ahead and click that like button for me if you're new around here click that subscribe button I appreciate all of your guys support I will check you guys the next time peace